Good morning once again. Well, Christmas has come and gone and New Year has come and gone and I'm sure you all had some sort of New Year celebration or Old Lang Syne or what a what a what a you know what happens all over the world we saw visuals of fireworks and celebrations her heralding the new year and i'm sure that most people who celebrated in any way uh, kind of hoped that things would get better uh, for example that cancer would be cured or that covid would disappear and that things could just get back to normal now the sad reality is that for most people, nothing really changes from the 31st of December to the 1st of January. From the old to the new is really just from the old to the old. Nothing actually changes. But for believers, for us, we can have hope because of God. Hope that things could be better. Hope that lives may change for His glory. Hope even that perhaps we meet an honest politician somewhere in the future on that circus stage. The psalmist rebukes himself when he says in Psalm 43 verse 5, he says, Why are you so downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. So the psalmist was in this place of blues. Maybe it had a time of celebration. I don't know exactly what was going on in his life. But he was, he was feeling absolutely hopeless. And maybe that's you this morning, dear brother or sister. You know, you've come through old Lang Syne, and, but nothing's changed. We're in, we're in a couple days into January now and, and nothing seems to be different. COVID's still here and, and everything's still as it was. Uh, what hope is there? I want to tell you there's tremendous hope. If you're down, hopeless, and unconfident of anything ever getting better, take a, a, a note out of the psalmist's book. Grab yourself by the, uh, by the throat and shake yourself a few times and say, Why so downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God. We have glorious hope. We have limitless hope. We have endless hope for 2022 in our God. Romans chapter 5 actually says, verse 3, We rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. All that bad stuff from 2021 and 2020 or however long you've had bad stuff going on. All of that stuff is designed by God so that we can have hope. 2020, 2022 must be the most hopeful year that you've ever stepped into because of trials and tribulations perhaps that you've been through. Verse 5 of Romans 5 says, And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out His love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom He has given us. Friends, it's going to be a good year. And especially if you've had a difficult time last year, and it looks like this year is also going to be difficult, I want to tell you, we need to rejoice in those sufferings, because all of those things produce hope. And the Bible says, hope doesn't disappoint us. So grab yourself, shake yourself in front of the mirror and say, why are you so downcast? Put your hope in God. Put your hope in Him for, and praise Him, my Savior and my God. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you for this brief word this morning. Thank you for these scriptures that have spoken to us. Thank you that you have audibly spoken to us, audibly rebuked us. Lord, where we start feeling sorry for ourselves or worried or concerned about what 2022 is going to look like or, oh, same old, same old. Thank you that it isn't because in you, Lord, there is always hope. And we grab ourselves this morning, we rebuke our own souls today and say, why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God. Thank you that that hope, Lord, doesn't disappoint us because you are God. We bless you and we praise you, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.